All right, gents, let's talk Bolts because, my goodness, I didn't think this team could be better than they were last year, but are they, Jaffe? Uh, last time I was on with you, Jackie, we talked about how this team perhaps, and likely I think it is deeper than it was last year and that they added Verhage and that they've gotten, you know, even, you know, more mature from some of their younger guys, whether it's uh, Joseph or one of their young defensive, but, they, they, you know, Sergachev. But this team with Vasilevsky is so stout. I mean, so darn stout. And you want to talk about knowing what they are? Oh, my God. This team has, they know their identity 100,000%. <laughs> they are deep, they're strong, they're fast. They they hound pucks. John Cooper's got them playing. Uh, totally, you know, respect hockey, meaning you get you generate your offense with great defense. They stretch pit plays. They get speed through the neutral zone, but they respect the game the right way. Let's not forget they had to get to that, and they eventually did last year, and it culminated winning the Stanley Cup out of the bubble. But this team with their depth and just that, I mean, Vasilevsky's still so young, Jackie, and yet he keeps getting incrementally better every year, every year. Yeah, I think potentially they are better. Yeah, 942 save percentage for Vasilevsky through 17 games. Ej, we're talking about him with the Vesna. At what point do we start maybe talking about the heart, Ej? <laughs> I'm serious. Well, I mean, the, the heart trophy, the heart trophy for goaltenders is a is a tough one for me. Uh, I think when Dominic Hasek won it back in the in the late 90s, I think that was the last time I thought a goalie should have won the heart trophy. Since then. Jose Theodore won it one year, and then Kerry Price won it one year. I don't think either guy really met the criteria for me, although they had very good seasons. Uh, I would not have gone there. Vasilevsky has played very, very well. I think we might be a little bit early on that. There's, You look around the league, I mean, there's some really great performances uh, that are being put up right now. Austin Matthews has been terrific. Connor McDavid, albeit the last couple of games, has been very un-Connor McDavid-like. So, uh, But there are a number of guys in that conversation, and and Vasilevsky, I mean, let's face it, he's probably the best goalie in the National Hockey League right now. He's on a real run. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, the, to get back to the Tampa Bay Lightning, what I really like about them was I watched the end of their game against Dallas the other night, and it's the little things in the game. They really shut that game down. And in the last two minutes, Dallas was trying to get the goalie out, trying to make something happen. The Tampa Bay Lightning were dogged on the puck. They weren't cheating. They were in the right areas. I mean, this team has really learned how to win now, and they showed that last year winning the Stanley Cup in return to play in the bubble. So they're going to be a hard out for anybody moving forward. And, you know, it's interesting because the Leafs are playing really well. The Bruins are having another good season. Those are three teams that were in the same division. They could be, in the circumstances we're in now, three of the final four this year. So that would be another interesting twist. But, uh, boy, Tampa is playing great, and to Billy's point, you know, John Cooper and that group, they really, uh, you know, they're doing the little things that you have to do night after night after night to have success. And they're doing it without Kucherov, which makes it all the more <laughs> impressive, Billy. Yeah. Yes, it, it, it does. Um, they knew that they would miss him, but they also knew that they well, he had to get better. And so here you say, let's take this challenge. And let's insert, again, some guys into a – let's elevate certain guys. And I know he's a winger, but Sorelli's a great example. He's, you know, up to that number two center spot, Jackie, right now. So he's producing more when he's been healthy. You get these young guys to come and you say, listen, let's see what we can massage out of them. Let's see what we can do because then when we get Kucherov back, Jackie, come playoff time, now everybody really feels good about themselves. We get even deeper – and we're putting especially some of these younger guys that may bump down the lineup just a little bit. They're, they're, we're putting them into those spots with a ton of confidence. And that's that's a luxury to have. But he can't come back to the playoffs regarding because of the salary cap, regarding how you've got to stay under it until the, you get to the, the playoffs and then people can come off IR. Well, tonight's going to be a good one. Tampa Bay taking on the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm sure Patrick Kane will be up and ready for this game. Should be a fun one to watch.